guys, and welcome to Halfway Wednesday. I am so glad that you're here. Halfway Wednesday is our midweek devotional designed for parents and children together. Well, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this day already and that you've already enjoyed your week. Speaking of weeks, guess what? Today is the first week of summer break. I hope everybody's enjoying a little less schoolwork to do and maybe getting to sleep a little bit later, maybe getting some more naps. Awesome. Well, as you know, we've been going through Psalm 139. And over the last four weeks, we've learned some very important things about God. Number one, we learned that God knows everything about us. Number two, we learned that God is always with us. Number three, we learned that God made us wonderful. And then number four, that God knows our future. Let me tell you guys, God is amazing. He is. And so this past week, I asked you to send me pictures of your favorite miracle from the Bible. So I'm going to check the mailbox and see if we have any mail. Haha, <clears throat> we do, guys. We've got some mail, and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, here we go. Our first picture comes from Charlotte. Charlotte, this is a great picture. The miracle she said that she would like to see is the parting of the Red Sea. You know what, Charlotte? Me too. That's one of my favorites. All right, the next one comes from Luke. And Luke, he loved the same miracle. He wants to see the parting of the Red Sea as well. And we have one here from Nathan. Nathan didn't draw a picture. He actually set up a Lego scene. And the Lego scene Nathan set up was David and Goliath. Wow, that is some really creative work. Great job, Nathan. Well, guys, thank y'all so much for sending that in. I am so proud of y'all. Y'all be listening today to find out if there's something else you can send in for next week that we can share with all of our Halfway Wednesday crew. Well, guys, I want to remind you of something, <clears throat> and that's this, that our bodies help us communicate. They do. In fact, you can send a message to someone else without even, even using words. You know what? You sure can. So I got some pictures and I want you to guess what message these pictures might be sending. And it's just pictures of people, but what message are they sending? All right, you ready? Here we go. Picture number one. Hmm. Now their shirt says something else, but her face says something completely different. All right? All right, let's see. Do we think this is sending a message of happy or sad? What do you think? <laughs> that's right, guys. I think that that is a sad face. That's for sure. How about this one? <clears throat> Number two. Ooh. Okay. Covers pulled up over the nose. Kind of almost hiding. All right. Do we think this person is showing that they are, you ready? Scared or brave? Hmm? Which one? Scared or brave? We'll see it again. You know what? I think this person might be showing that they're scared. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been scared before. Sometimes in the bed when I was little, I used to pull the covers up just like that too. All right, here we go. Our third picture. All right. It's a cute little girl. What do we think? What is her face showing? Is she showing that she's glad or angry? Which one? Can you tell? Is she glad or is she angry? She's glad. She's a happy little girl. Absolutely. And you know what? Even though our faces show how we feel, sometimes people can make a pretend face. They can. Have you ever made a pretend face? Like, have you ever tried to look really tough and brave even though maybe you were a little scared? Or have you maybe tried to look happy even though on the inside you were really sad. See, sometimes we can try to put on a face, a look that doesn't really show how we feel on the inside. But you know, even though we can sometimes fool other people with our faces, guess what? God knows how we really are. He does. In fact, God can see all of our feelings. He can see all of our feelings that are related to fear, our feelings that are related to excitement, our feelings that make us sad sometimes, and our feelings that make us happy. 
So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been scared and nervous and excited all at the same time? I have. I don't know if you've ever ridden maybe a big ride at an amusement park or maybe when you walk to the top of the diving board at the pool and you're very high and right before you jump, it's a little scary and it's a little exciting all at the same time. <clears throat> you know what? We can have all those big feelings and God understands all of them all at the same time. No matter if we're feeling good or bad, happy or scared, God knows all of it. In fact, that leads us to our focus today, which says, God knows all of your feelings. He does. God knows all of them, no matter what they are. Well, guys, I want to share a scripture with you from Psalm 139. So go ahead and grab your Bibles. I'm going to grab mine. And we're going to be in Psalm 139. Oh, I need to show you the scripture. Boop. All right, we're going to be in Psalm 139. All right, and we're going to be in verses 23 and 24. Don't worry, I'm not going to rush you. I'm going to give you a little bit more time to get there. Uh-huh. All right. Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. All right, everybody got it? All right, I'm going to share it. I'm going to read it with uh, for you. If you don't have your Bible, that's okay. Don't worry. Just read it on, with me on the screen, okay? All right, Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. It says this. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Wow, did you hear that, guys? <clears throat> this is a person talking to God, and he's asking God to look inside of him. He says, search me, O God. Know who I am on the inside. See, what a great encouraging word to know that God doesn't just know our outsides, but he knows our insides. And not just like our blood and our guts, but he knows our feelings. And we can ask him to help us with all of that. So there are some thoughts I want to share with you about that. <clears throat> okay, number one is this. You ready? God gave you feelings. He did. God gave us emotions and feelings. <clears throat> and sometimes they can be pretty big, right? And you know what? He understands, right? He does. So when you're feeling sad or lonely or afraid or excited and surprised and really happy, guess what? God is the one who gave us the ability to experience all of those. And that is really cool. That God designed us not only with like a brain and arms and legs and opposable thumbs and all those other things, but with emotions too. Wow, God's design for us is awesome. Well, there's a second thing I want to share with you, and that's this. That God wants to help you with your feelings. He does. See, God made your feelings, and he knows how they work. And he also sees your heart. He also knows that sometimes our feelings, you know what? They can be really, really strong and really, really tough. And you know what? His word, his promises, his scripture right here, it has lots of instruction to us about what we can do when our feelings seem big. Sometimes when our feelings seem even bigger than we are. He tells us that we can pray. That we should remember his promises. That we can call upon his peace. That we can think about him. We can talk to other believers in Jesus about how we're feeling. That we can talk to mom and dad. You know what? Those are all great instructions that God gives us right here about how we handle our big feelings. There's one last thing, and that's this. Not only can God help you, and not only did God give you feelings, but I want you to know that God understands your feelings. Did you know that? See, Scripture is full of description about God and His feelings, about how He feels, and about how He relates to those feelings. You know, the Bible also talks to us about Jesus and when Jesus was here on earth. And you know, there were people in Jesus' life that loved him. They took care of him. They worshipped him. I mean, they, they, they cleaned his feet. They, they loved him and gave him all kinds of wonderful affection. Those must have been some really good feelings. 
But there were also people who were ugly to Jesus. They were nasty to him and mean to him. And so not only does he understand the good, he understands the hard ones too. So that is really amazing. That we have a God who not only created us with feelings, who not only understands our feelings, but helps us with those feelings too. And he has feelings as well. So have you ever stopped to think that God understands our feelings, but not just understands them, he understands them, you ready? Perfectly. Perfectly. Sometimes when you have big feelings, it can be hard to tell other people what they feel like. It can be hard to share those in words. But God knows. And not only does he know, he knows it perfectly. So God knows all of our feelings. Mom, dad, kids, guess what? What does that mean? He knows when we feel nervous. <clears throat> and he also knows when we feel brave, right? He knows when we feel a little scared. And he also knows when we feel hopeful. He knows when we feel a little mad, or maybe a lot mad. And he knows when we feel happy and full of joy. No matter the feeling, God understands them. There are no feelings too big. There's no feelings too hard. There's no feelings that are too tough that we can't find rest and comfort and peace in his hope. See, here's the big question. <clears throat> the big question about feelings is this. Is God upset with me when I have really tough feelings, right? If I get really mad about something, or if I get really sad about something, or if I get really super excited, does God get upset with me? Well, no. He doesn't ask us not to have feelings. What he does ask us to do, though, is not to sin when we have those feelings. So is it okay to get mad sometimes? Well, sure, absolutely. But don't hurt anybody or say ugly things when you get mad. Is it okay to be sad sometimes? Well, absolutely. But don't let sadness be the only thing you think about and stop forgetting to think about God. Is it okay to be really super excited? Absolutely. But don't get so excited that you bounce around the room and you, and you break things or you forget to follow the rules. See, God wants us to have feelings, but he wants us to make sure our feelings are under control. And that comes from him. So, is it okay to be super happy? Yeah. Is it okay to be mad? Yeah. Is it okay to be a little scared? Yeah. Is it okay to be really excited? Yeah, it is. It's okay to be all those things. Just make sure that when you have those big feelings, that you don't let them get out of control. And you make sure that you're honoring God with those. All right. So, I have a treasure box. And I'm going to grab that real quick. And let's take a look at it. All right, in our treasure box, we have some ideas about things that we can do as a family, some activities that can help us uh, understand what we're talking about today. Okay, so here's our first one. I like to call this one big feelings, right? And I've used that word a whole lot, you know, and, and the reason I'm using that is because it's kind of fun, but it translates to kids in a big way, right? So sometimes we have feelings, sometimes we have really big ones. So in the, in the activity of big feelings, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit together as a family. I want to ask you, have each other ask this question. Actually, two questions. Question number one. When is the last big feeling you had that was really tough? Right? Maybe it was sad. Maybe it was scared. Maybe it was disappointed. And how did it get better? The second question I want you to ask is, when's the last time you had a big feeling that you had that was super fun and exciting? And the second part of that question is, well, where did that come from? And what made you feel fun and exciting? All right, here we go. Number two, let's see what we have here. Oh, this is a lot of fun. This one's called Search Party. Now in Search Party, here's what I want you to do. Make sure you give mom and dad's permission first, but then pick out three stuffed animals. And you're gonna have a person called the trickster. And the trickster is going to go hide the three stuffed animals. And they have one minute to hide all three stuffed animals in the house. And then you're going to have the finder. And when you say go, the finder has three minutes to find all three of the stuffed animals and bring them back. 
When you bring them back, you get one point for each one that you found. Scripture says that the Lord will search our hearts, search me and know me. Well, in this activity, we're searching for stuffed animals. <clears throat> All right, we have one more. Number three. And this one is called, you ready? No peeking. All right, now for this activity, you're going to need a blindfold. And here's what I want. I want one person to be the person who guesses, the guesser. And we're going to blindfold them. And then you're going to have the leader. And the leader will place an object into the hands of the guesser. The guesser is going to have 30 seconds to figure out what they've been given without looking. No peeking, right? You can give hints, but no peeking. And we'll see if you can feel and determine what it is that they put into your hand. It should be a fun activity and a lot of fun and a great experience for you guys. Well, guys, each week we want to make sure that we are reading God's Word, that we're recognizing His truth, and that we're repeating what He's taught us. And today we want to remember that, guess what? God knows all of our feelings. He does. He does, and we can trust Him with those. Well, guys, let me say a quick prayer for us. Heavenly Father, God, we love you. And Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, we pray that you would help us to trust all of our feelings to you. The good ones and the hard ones, the big ones and the little ones. And remember that you made our feelings and we want to make you proud. God, we love you and we thank you. Amen. All right. Well, guys, this next week, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to draw a picture for me. <clears throat> of something that makes you really happy, right? That makes you feel happy. It can be a picture of a toy. It can be a picture of a place. It can be a picture of an activity. It can be a picture of a person. But whatever that is, draw that out and then have mom and dad send that to me. They can take a picture of it. They can email it to me. Here's my email address. It's elarson at kingwoodfirst.org. Have them send that picture to me and then next week, We'll put it in the mailbox and we'll get to share it with our Halfway Wednesday crew. Well, guys, listen, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of the week and a great first week of summer break. God bless you and we'll see you this weekend. Bye.